Hi, my name's Alicia and I'm one of the co-directors at Homefolk. I've been involved with the project for about two years now and when I'm not thinking about affordable housing, I'm a medical student. In this video, I'm going to explain to you Homefolk's housing model. Red, green, earth, uh, blue. 2024. Young people face a poly crisis of multiple intersecting issues. Housing is unaffordable and poor quality. Our relationship with nature is broken. The earth underfoot needs freeing, just like the people who live on her. Loneliness and isolation are life threatening. We want new solutions to bring the neighbourhood back into our lives. We believe any solution to one of these problems will be intersectional, addressing the others at the same time. Homefolk Solution is a genuinely affordable housing model that delivers sustainability and structures health. We've been inspired by cycle hangars and councils, doctors and architects, e-girls and space pirates. Together, we need to think radically about our rights to the urban. Paving, 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 me on paving? <sighs> Haven. Marginal paved sites exist across all cities. In 2024 in London, these paved commons don't suit common needs. We need housing, health and a sustainable future. For example, in Tower Hamlet, 70% of households don't own a car. These greyfield sites would deliver significant amounts of land for affordable housing. Currently, land prices inflate housing prices. By mitigating on-site costs, housing models designed for these sites are inherently more affordable. How much potential of our home folk model? Homefolk conducted a custom aerial survey of appropriate sites in East London. Our study area was 40% paved surface. That's not unique. Analysis done by Charlie Gardner has found modern western cities range between 20 to 40% paved surface area and higher averages for pan-American car-centric cities. Our models help densify desirable city areas with good public transport links they are experiencing a decline in vehicle ownership like London. We could build new affordable housing for 19,000 people. Across the UK, this model could provide new affordable ecological housing for 100,000 more. Enjoy the dump of other information we've collected before we move on to the homes themselves. Tiny home, tiny home, tiny home on wheels. From massive embodied carbon emissions and building techniques, Concrete. <clears throat> Modern built structures destroy ecology, for example, by paving over the earth. Tiny homes are a small living approach where people live in compact spaces. Tiny homes shouldn't be on their own though. American individualism feels both a resource crisis and a loneliness crisis. Facilitated by design, a village of tiny homes for co-living and resource sharing. We believe this model can build community and structure eco-health benefits. So, what are these tiny home villages like? On the inside, private living and sleeping space. On the outside, decorate your home as you wish. A shared kitchen hub for all to use, and a wet room and bathroom hub that's shared too. And who knows what you'll get up to together in the common room hub. A total of eight homes and three shared hubs make up the village. That's not all. Eco-community amenities for residents and other locals are essential to the model. Features include public water fountain, but probably like this. Rainwater harvesting, tree planters, composting, more planters, more planters, plants, fruit and veg the community can share. Regreening our grey streets can bring communities together, improve our mental health and reduce urban heat island effects. That's why a home folk village benefits a larger community beyond the eight people who live in the homes. Homes are especially unaffordable at the moment. The average percentage of income spent on housing costs has increased almost every year over the last decade in the UK. With more people renting than ever, especially young people like me, different ownership models can prevent the speculation and financialization that got us into this mess and guarantee new homes are affordable forever. To do this, we transfer the land upon which the villages are sited to a CLT or community land trust. The homes and hubs are bought and co-owned through mutual home ownership or shared ownership scheme by the residents. Community amenities are property of the wider community, either through the CLT or council management. If you're unsure about this work being possible, just check out the amazing work of other projects like Citizens House, Russ, Lilac Co-Housing and Tiny House Community Bristol. Alternative ownership and conceptual options exist. 
As we evolve, the complex legal and design work behind the scenes will continue to inform the model that we advocate. Whatever comes next for Home Folk, for our collaborations on work ahead, we will always have affordability, health and sustainability at the heart of our choices. Thank you for watching. These grateful sites which have been Homefield conducted a discuss <sighs> by using this logic. No, 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 no. Okay. <clears throat>